In July 2001, the people of Kerala woke to a terrifying sight. The sky had turned crimson and the rain was red. It splattered across houses, soaked clothes, and stained the earth like blood. At first, people thought it was dust from the desert blown across the sea. But as the days passed, the blood rain kept falling. For nearly two months, fear spread fast. Some said it was a divine warning. Others whispered it was the end of the world. When scientists collected samples, they found something stranger than anyone expected. Microscopic red cells suspended in the water. But these cells didn't behave like anything known to science. They reproduced at high temperatures, yet contained no DNA. When the Indian government asked international experts to study them, even NASA scientists were baffled. One theory claimed the particles were extraterrestrial spores drifting through the atmosphere after a meteor explosion. Another blamed a bizarre kind of algae, though no one could find any living trace of it. The official reports tried to calm the panic, calling it natural. But locals remember otherwise. They say the rain wasn't just red, it burned. It made their skin itch, their crops die, and their animals restless. And when it finally stopped, the rivers glowed faintly under moonlight, as if something had seeped into the earth. Was it a freak of nature, or a message from somewhere beyond? Even today, scientists can't explain what really fell from the skies over Kerala. All they know is, it wasn't just rain, 